How's it going everyone? This is Wimbo. Today we are going to have another quick Blender tutorial talking about how to transfer details from one model to the other one. A lot of time for 3D artists, we don't actually need to model the certain things inside Blender. For example, as you can see here on the screen, we have three different rings that looks about the same. However, if we're going to look them in the However, if we're gonna look at them from the top view, as you can see here, we have a lot of stuff in, going on here in the in, in the top of the ring. And the original one, we have uh, quite a bit of details. The, after we did some retopo work down here, you see all these details is gone. Here's the final one that I'm having. It's having a pretty good decent details, but it's less vertice and also it's being retopoed. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do this step by step. The original piece is designed for jewelers. So what it means is this is more for 3D printing. Once the 3D modeler is creating this piece and the jewelers be able to 3D printing this in plastic, it become a mold for this ring. So what you can see here, if we're gonna look closely, you can see here the, the surface looks very rough. For the purpose of this model design, yeah, it makes perfect sense. However, if we want to use this model to render some good images out of this, this is not a model we can use. If I select this one, go into the edit mode, you can see here the vertice, everything is in a triangle. And also the shape, everything is not that smooth. And definitely it has tons of good details on it. And we need to do some retopo work to, in order to make the body, everything work nice and smooth. The second one is the retopo one. It, if I'm going to edit mode, you can see here everything is in quad, so which means it consists with four vertices. However, the, the, all the details are gone. That is not enough for what we're trying to accomplish because we want to having a smooth body. However, we also want to have enough details to recover from the rain. And how can we do this? The last one is the piece that we finally can use. We have very decent detail on the top and we also have a smooth body on the side. And if we go to the edit mode, you can see here the entire body has been well retopoed. Now let me show you the steps. Now you can see that we have a original rings right here, all the details, all the mass is on the body. And this is something we don't want. And here's the step one, we're gonna retopo this whole thing. So I'm going to using my favorite add-on or the secret weapon. <laughs> You will see here, is I will hit N key. This is called the quad remesher. It is a paid add-on, but it worth every single penny. I have talked about this add-on. This is not a sponsored videos talking about this, but this is my favorite thing. So I'm gonna select this model, and then you can see here, we can decide the quad count. Basically, you can put as much as you can, but I don't recommend that you put a million vertices over that. This is just because we have a lot of details. I put a quite a bit of number on here. So everything we looks nice and detect hard edges by angle because this is super high counts. I probably not gonna do this. I can uncheck that. So what I will do here, just select that and simply click remesh it. And now once it's going to inside the process, you can see here there is a remeshing process just going to wait and once it's done is you are going to see there's a new retopo mesh is going to going on here and it's going to automatically hide the original this is what the beautiful part of this add-on so everything is so simple now you can see this is what happening because i already made a collection in here i'm just going to simply drag this thing into the collection and now you can see here this is the retopo one the top details absolutely gone so i can hit n key to close this and uh, this is not what we want. Also, on the side view, we want to have a beautiful smooth curves going on here. So what do we need to do next? We're going to adding a subsurface modifier. That's usually the solutions for smoothing the surface. Now as you can see here, it's much better. And then right click, and we're going to do the shade smooth. Now it looks very nice and smooth. Much better in the earlier banding going on here. However, we need to fix in the top part, okay? So next modifier, we're going to put it onto the retopo one is going to be the shrink wrap basically the shrink wrap is going to wrap the original details kind of like a, a very thin layer suck onto the retopo ones getting more detail of it 
because we did a retopology and with the add-on, these two models being placed in the exactly same locations, making sure you don't move these. And you can see here, this is the original one and the retopo one. So we are going to select the retopo one and then using the target sample dropper to select the original one. Once I select that, you will see we have some details going on here, okay? So it's not too bad at all, right? We're getting a different level of details going on here. That's good news. However, on the body part, we are getting the ugly bending again from the original mesh. So this is something we want to get rid of. The next thing we are going to do is we are going to creating a vertice group that to feels like it's a kind of a mask to unmask the body part only shrink wrap the top vertice. We're going to go to the vertice group settings. We're going to creating a group. Then we're going to go back to the edit mode. Now, what we're trying to do here, we are going to select the top part and eventually just going to let this part as being shrink wrap. Because this is a very simple model, I can just select this one and drag the box rectangular up here and then everything should be nice clean being selected so next thing we're going to do here we're going to hit control and the plus key on the number pad this is a short trick just going to continue expanding our selection and then keep doing this and then making sure we select the one we want because we're still in the top view so what we can do here we can hit b key and then using the middle mouse click and the drag in the boxes to deselect so that's kind of an easier way b and middle mouse button, deselect the thing, B, and middle mouse button, B, B, and middle mouse button, drag the box. So on the side, we can just using the same technique, we can, or we can use the C key to holding the middle mouse button, just kind of moving across, so making sure you don't get in all that. So I think that's perfectly fine. And I can use in the uh, one, one more time to refine the edge on the top key. That should be fine because uh, the, these small details in, in the actual physical ring is not going to show in a whole lot. So we're going to go back to vertice settings, making sure once we select this one part we want, we're going to hit assign. And then, so once we assign this, we can go back to the modifier stack and come in here. So also tap out the edit mode and uh, what's gonna happen you see the details we still have on the body we are going to select the vertex group here and select the one we have and watch the differences now you can see we don't have that ugly details anymore so that looks very nice next thing we're gonna do we're gonna bump up the subsurface level a little bit more right now you from the viewport we're only using one level if we bump into two so you can see here, you have more details wrapped around in the top part, which is very nice. And then for the body part, we're going to remain the smooth surface. So this is the, going to be our actual final model. If you're saying, well, Wimbo, I don't like this. Of course, you can adjusting the vertice group to make it a little bit smaller and narrower, just focusing on the small areas in here. And if you really want to get any more details, you can bump up the subserve level a little bit more. However, at the same time, making sure you save this Blender file before you do so is usually gonna crash. This is just going to be the, your choice, but I'm showing you the process and the method that how to recover these details using this this way. Last step, you can do simply just apply these modifier. You can just using that, or you can just putting these two models into a same folder. But when you're doing renders, making sure you uncheck this render icon so it will not be visibly showing on your render. So if I'm going to the camera view and enable the environment and lighting I have built earlier, you can see here and go to the render view. Now you can see here. This is the rain looks like and it looks very nice. We can definitely spend some time to adjusting the lighting and everything, but so far it looks good to me. This is the retopo one, is the final one. If I'm going back to the original one, you can see here this ugly bending, the details is not really looking very good. So this is something that we don't want. Although it has some details in here, but compared to what we having right now, it has less details, but it looks more realistic compared to the actual rain. And at the same time, the body looks very nice and smooth. So this is what we got. 
as always, this file, as always, you'll be able to access this file if you're one of my Patreon. Also, you can support this channel if you purchase this Blender file separately on Gumroad. It's just a couple bucks. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit likes and subscribe and comment what you think. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.